we're gonna watch the video called comparison top 150 phobias you have at least three i'm gonna keep track in my head how many phobias i have and then after the video i'm gonna ask you to comment how many phobias you have from this video let's get the official definition of a phobia a phobia is an uncontrollable irrational and lasting fear of a certain object situation or activity okay public speaking one in two people have this phobia. More specifically, they fear messing up and embarrassing themselves. That's me, bro. I have, I have a public speaking phobia. Throughout my school journey, but I remember specifically in high school, I used to literally skip school I would fake sick just to not do in-class presentations. I was so terrified. It was not even funny. One in five people have a phobia of death. People fear the thought of being non-existent or eternal loneliness. I don't. No, I don't. Strangers. Okay, how many people? One in six have a phobia of strangers. Xenophobia may also be linked to bigoted views about other races. Rats. One in ten people have phobia of rats. Their association with disease has long tarnished the rats' reputation to many. So I guess like being afraid that the rats will carry diseases or something. Yeah, I'm not really afraid of rats. I mean, I don't like rats. Who likes rats unless it's your pet, right? But I don't have this like flight or fight response when I see a rat. But public speaking, I do. Needles. To be fair, uh, your skin being pierced by a sharp object is naturally pretty scary. I don't like needles i hate doing my uh my blood work of course like who, who likes that who who enjoys doing their blood work but like i wouldn't say i'm um i'm scared of needles like specifically right i'd say doctors yes in a way but not needles i don't know dentists okay getting your t uh, mouth drilled into isn't the most pleasant thought I, I feel like my phobias come from like i guess being in the setting of a, of a doctor any doctor, you know, doing a blood work, having your like body checked out, going to the dentist. There's a certain smell in the doctor's office that I don't like. I remember though, bad experience. I went to this dentist and he didn't put enough anesthesia in my mouth. And I could feel that pain of him drilling into my, in my tooth. And it was like, it was really bad. After that, he obviously put more and more and made it work. But like the initial thought of that pain in my, in my mouth, it was so bad. So every time I go to the dentist, I'm like, can you put extra anesthesia just to be safe? I don't want to experience that again. Okay, 1 in 13 people are afraid of the dark. The fear of the dark likely originates from our ancestors. Outdoor living. Oh yeah, because like dark is known to be scary. Like you can't see well and there could be some like creatures in the forest that would attack you back in the day. So, but I wouldn't say I'm scared of the dark. No, I feel uneasy at, in the dark, like pitch black at home. I, I don't like to, you know be in the darkness but like i'm not scared of it or like have a fear of it phobia heights often incorrectly referred to as verti vertigo confined spaces people fear confined spaces because it restricts their movement i feel like i'm a little bit afraid of confined spaces not like elevators but i, I told you before my biggest fear is being trapped and like slowly dying so i guess maybe you can argue i don't like to be in like tight spaces flights this fear can combine with claustrophobia and acrophobia no i don't really mind flights yeah claustrophobia yeah that's the that's the word for like being afraid of um like confined spaces right being forgotten what people who care for dementia patients are more likely to suffer from this fear oh yeah because they they're exposed to dementia patients who can remember people, right? And they're afraid to be forgotten, I guess. Interesting. Social situations. Generally, they fear being embarrassed or judged by others. Honestly, dude, like, I hate going out. I hate big social events. So I would give this, like, 50% of my fears. Like, I have 1.5 fears right now out of all these. So not quite two, but more than one. Spiders. Fear of spiders seems to be a cultural thing. Some groups aren't scared of them at all. Honestly, I'm not really scared of spiders. What I'm really scared of chat, like I'm not joking guys. When I say this, uh, that I have a phobia, I'm, I'm not lying. I have the biggest phobia for this, bro. Oh my God. I, I, I cannot look at the screen right now, bro. And not even this specific creature, but any creature with like 50 legs, especially this, this thing, bro. Oh my God, bro. Dude, this guy, bro, I, I cannot look. Oh my God, bro. Th this guy, I, I'm not looking. I'm so terrified of this thing, silverfish. I can't even look. Hold on. I have the biggest phobia for silverfish. Anybody relates? Fire. People fear to be terribly burnt in a fire or accidentally starting at one. I don't think so. No, I'm not really afraid of fire. No. 
Surgery. Oh yeah. This fear can lead to avoidance of necessary treatments or surgeries. Yeah, like being under an anesthesia, an anesthesia, sleeping during a surgery, like that gives me so much anxiety too. Sharp objects? Uh, I don't think so, no. Not really. Blood. Blood is a big one. Blood is a huge one, chat. Blood is a huge one. Some people faint at the mere sight of blood. My friend in high school, um, we were, I don't know what we were doing. We were doing some like DNA test or whatever. And um, we had to poke ourselves with a needle and draw a bit of blood for the DNA test or some sort of test, like blood test. Um, and um, yeah, my, my friend, he felt so sick. He almost fainted. It was, it was horrible. When I do my blood work, I literally look away. Like I, I tell the, the nurse, I'm like, I can't look. I have to look away. So, and actually when my friend almost fainted during that test in school, like back in high school, I didn't even participate because I couldn't even like poke myself and draw blood. Snakes? No, not really. Not really for me. Sleep. People with recurring sleep paralysis will often face this. Taking decisions. What do you mean taking? Making decisions? This may result from bad decisions in the past which they still regret. Dead things. Some cultures believe that spirits may return and haunt them. I don't know, like I feel uneasy looking at dead things. Like if I see a dead rat or like some animal, like a dead squirrel on the street. Of course, I'm not like, you know, happy, but like I'm not like running away. Dogs. Usually a traumatic experience in early life is to blame for a fear of dogs. I'm not really afraid of dogs. I, I prefer cats more than dogs, okay? In Ukraine, where I grew up until the age of nine, dogs in Ukraine were not very friendly, at least back in the day. So I did get attacked, like attacked by some dogs, um, like stray dogs. They weren't big dogs, uh, you know, they would, you know, bite your, your jeans or... These three dogs I remember in, in particular, they tackled me to the ground when I was like maybe six years old. They were honestly small puppies though, they were not like big dogs, but I was traumatized. I was like, what, six years old? I got tackled to the ground by these, you know, dogs. Um, and they began to like bite on my, uh, my shoes and stuff. So you can find a lot of stray dogs, like homeless dogs in Ukraine. And that's like really scary walking alone at night, especially by like garbage bins and you see like hungry dogs. I don't think they would like eat you though, but I don't know, bro. It was a little bit sus. I feel uneasy with big dogs. You know, we can all say that, you know, dogs are friendly. They're not going to harm you, all that stuff. But like a big dog, right? If it wants to, it can probably bite off your finger. Cats, you know, smaller dogs. They can't do that. So it's an animal, right? So if something goes wrong in their brain and they have an instinct to attack you, smaller animals can't really do you that much harm. But if you see a huge dog, if I see a huge dog, I feel a little bit scared. I'm like, bro, I don't know if I want to be around you, you know? Insects. I'm more specifically terrified of like those uh, like sil silverfish or centipedes. Being alone. Okay. Some people are scared to be alone for the rest of their lives. That's honestly like a pretty valid phobia though. Like... Imagine, yeah, thinking of being alone for the rest of your life. That's pretty scary, no? Big things, like big buildings. Cats. Some people even associate felines with evil and witchcraft. Ghosts. Not really, no. Radiation. No. Cliffs. 1 in 32 people, cliffs. At a certain height, some people may have the feeling of being sucked towards it. I would not go cliff jumping, but I'm not like afraid of cliffs. Sharks. No, not really. Lightning. The more we go into this video, the farther we, we watch, the less these phobias are common in people. So it's 1 in 33, 1 in 36. We're going to get to like 1 in a billion probably. Clowns? No, no, no. Germs? No, not really a phobia. Not really a phobia for me. Birds? Why would you be afraid of birds? I mean, I guess like if there's like a bunch of birds together, right? Like a bird pack. Then yeah, but wasps i mean wasps are related to insects in general so not really specifically wasps for me doctors yeah i feel like this one is more um relevant to me i guess because if i'm sick if i'm like if i have to go through some sort of procedure i push it until the very last minute i'm not the one to run and, and see a doctor right away teenagers what the hell the stereotype that teenagers are dangerous is enough to inspire fear in some schools school can be a traumatic time for some leading to a lifelong fear fear of failure i feel like my anxiety like stems from like social situations and uh like fear of failure and like fear of being alone i think those are like the biggest like anxiety triggers for me amphibians some cultures associate 
frogs and toads with disease, warts, and even bad omens. No, not really for me. Not my culture, at least. Marriage. It's an irrational fear of marriage or commitment sometimes leads to anxiety. Yeah. I feel like if you're older and you're not married yet, you may have anxiety to get married because you're like running out of time in a way. So you're, you're trying to get married quick and that leads to a lot of anxiety and fear. The ocean? No, not really. No, no, no. Dolls. Possessed haunted dolls, I'm assuming. Driving? No, not really for me. Loud sounds? Fear of men. Okay, yeah, somebody in my chat said they are afraid of phobias. So this is you. You're just afraid of being afraid. People. Yeah, people make sense. That's like social anxiety. Worms. I go fishing with worms and I would like, you know, break the worms apart in my hands and stuff and, and put it on the, um, on the hook. So I love worms. No, I love worms. Clustered small holes. Okay, interesting. Crossing the road. No. Dining with others. It's often tied to... Dinner conversation, social phobia, or post-traumatic events. Urinating, what? Some people are afraid of urinating, often linked to worries about having accidents in public. Chad, is anybody here afraid of peeing? That's like the base, the most basic human feature. You have to pee and, and poo, you have to. Imagine if you're afraid of peeing, bro. If you're afraid of peeing, I'm really sorry, Chad, but like, that's, that's horrible. Space, space is a little bit scary too, but not like phobia for me. Getting fat. I mean, I used to be fat. I told you guys. I used to be around 220 pounds at my peak weight um, at the age of 14. And then I went down a bit and then I gained some weight again. And then last year, I used to be, um, in 2023, I used to be 190 pounds. And now I'm down to 160. So I lost 30 pounds in about a year. So I guess I'm afraid of getting fat again because um, I enjoy like not being overweight. Vegetables know the sun. Beards? No. Number 13. Unlucky and evil number. Making love? Okay. It also stems from performance anxiety too, right? Like being afraid to like not perform well, you know? Ugliness? Parents who repeatedly tell their children that they're ugly will form this phobia. Holy crap. I'm sorry. I'm sorry if your parents called you ugly. Being touched? Like hugging, I'm assuming. Trains? No. Feet? No. I like feet. I'm joking. Not not in a weird way, Chad. Not in a weird way. Mole rats? What is a mole rat? Is that like the hairless rats? Oh my god. Cool. Slime? It's not really. Aliens? No. Vomiting? Feces. Being afraid of feces. What? Having a phobia of feces? Like, wait, hold on. People are scared that they are being watched while in the bathroom. I used to babysit one of my relatives. It wasn't just me, it was my, my, my mom as well, but when they were like maybe five or something, or I don't know how old they were, but they used to be afraid to poop, especially that night, because they were afraid that, I don't know, we were like in the same house as them or something. I don't know, they were like crying. Computers, older adults may experience this tech-related fear. Oh, okay, okay, like being old and not knowing how to use it. Naked people, interesting. Selfish. Shellfish, shellfish. Okay. Not having your phone. Dude, this is like... I feel like this, the number in uh, in this phobia will go up. Like, I feel like more people have this phobia than, than, than this. If I don't have my phone in public, I'm panicking. What if I get lost? What if I have to call somebody, right? Or text somebody. Being single. Swallowing. What? Beautiful woman. Yeah, again, this is like all linked to social anxiety, right? Imperfection. Hair, butterflies, related to insects. Are butterflies insects? That's a dumb question. Just had this random thought, I wanna know. Yes, they are, let's go. Um, reading, no, bulls, no, not for me. Relatives, especially when relatives ask you all these questions like about your friends and you know girls and school and stuff. Long words. Okay, honestly, like when I'm doing these lives, when I see like some new word like a long ass word that i don't really use in my vocabulary vocabulary i get spooked that i'm gonna completely butcher the the word on live and sound like a dumbass that's my fear working no um hell not really being buried alive yeah okay okay this one is actually like super real as i mentioned i hate small spaces and my biggest fear is to be trapped and slowly die 
this is one of one of the fears i think it's linked to the ancient fear of premature burial but its exact origin is unknown yeah so being buried alive and knowing that you can't get out because you're underground and you're, you're you're gonna die dying slowly that's like bro that's that's the biggest fear i feel like for for me and a lot of people too know balloons no opinions not like a phobia of opinions stepmothers around 50 percent of people who have this phobia also have other anxiety phobias why stepmothers in particular though blushing light dust bridge these are so random what the f belly buttons why as i said chat the farther we go in this video the weirder these phobias become so we're almost almost uh, done here mirrors no god laughing i love how all of these phobias have an actual name like fear of laughing is called jellyophobia like if you actually look this up jelly jellyophobia fear of being laughed at so like even though these fears sound very like strange and like unusual right like fear of children who's afraid of children right but it's an actual like medical condition it's an actual medical term it's not just made up like people actually have these fears clothes what the f vestiphobia like vestiphobia is being afraid of clothes so i guess you just walk around nude tickled by feathers birthdays halloween bald people what the f bald people why bald people bathing i used to hate bathing when i was a kid i used to like almost fake shower i feel like we've all done that when you're supposed to shower but you like just turn on the the faucet and just i don't know wash your armpits and just like wing it you know and not actually go in the shower can you guys relate to being scared of uh not scared but like skipping showers when you're a kid or no heat long waits oh like the cursed devil numbers food that's some eating disorder if you're afraid of food you must have some sort of eating disorder cheese no chins different type of chins can scare people and make them feel uncomfortable what the f books getting wealthy why would you be afraid to get wealthy like isn't that a, isn't it a good thing the pope water small things okay houses rain everything buttons colors if you're afraid of colors how are you supposed to live because everything has colors like this is blue right like how garlic string what the f i tickled my grandma last night christmas trees dryness love yeah be, i mean being afraid to be heartbroken that makes sense moon churches bananas poetry opening your eyes gravity music some genres may be more scary than others i'm sure you can find some music that gives you anxiety and fear like there's a lot of genres of music out there and i'm sure you can find some like really scary and disturbing music chickens clouds heaven ideas i wonder how they came up with these numbers like how do they know it's one in seventy three thousand people have this phobia color yellow it includes yellow objects and foods which can disrupt daily life peanut butter sticking to you okay good news stars sitting flowers names specifically the f the fear of one's own name or the names of certain individual thinking knees a rare phobia which can be caused by a hurting knee or discomfort having things on your right why why having things on your right interesting french people bro what the French people? 1 in 12 million have a phobia of French people. Francophobia isn't a clinical phobia, but denotes biases against French culture. Hold up, what is it called again? Francophobia. No way, bro. What the hell? Strong dislike or prejudice against France or the French. It's actually a thing. Yeah, this one caught me off guard. Like, you're afraid of the whole race of French people, like, just in general? How many phobias did you find out you have from this video i think i have two public speaking and being buried alive I'm, I'm assuming maybe insects some insects too so like maybe two and a half three for me 